What's up guys? Leon is back and I'm going to help you guys go ahead and add the users names to this chat. So say we have multiple users right now. We just have imaginary friend, but say we want to add Lola to imaginary friends. We want to make sure this says imaginary friend and Lola and not just imaginary friend. So let's go ahead and get into the code and we're going to go to our events.js and add a, another event. And that's going to be the new user or new chat user. And then we're going to go to our chat container, control P chat container. And we're going to add two methods in here. And those methods are going to be called add user to chat and then also remove users from chats. So we're going to add them right here, add user to chat. And this one takes an object that's going to have a chat ID property and also a new user property that we're going to get from our backend. Let's go ahead and implement this one. So all we're going to do is we're going to get our chats from our state. And then we're also going to make some new chats with the added user. So I'm going to say chats.map. And for each chat, we're going to check to see if it's the correct chat that we want to add the user to. So we're going to say chat.id equals 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 chat ID, which is that variable that we have up at the top. And then if it does equal that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to return a new object with the added user. So we're just going to say object.assign and we're going to return the chat and then update the user's parameter like this. So then chat.users plus the new user. And we're going to do that right there. So that gets all the users and puts them in this array. And then we also add on that new user. And then we put that property on our new object that we return. But if it's not the chat ID or the chat that we want, we're just going to return chat. So now we have all our new chats. We're going to set, update our states. So we're going to say this dot set state. And we're going to say chats and the new chats. Now we're also going to have remove users and it's pretty much the same except the opposite. <laughs> so we're going to say remove users because it's going to be the users that we are going to be removing. I'm just going to do this and we're going to say const and get the chats again, just like we did above. And we're also going to get make new chats again and we're also going to map through those chats again so we're going to map through those and for each chat we are going to go ahead and get some new users so we're going to say net, let new users and let's change this to removed sorry about that removed and this users is just going to be the difference and if you don't know what difference is it's a method inside of load dash it allows us to get the difference of two arrays. So I'll show you that real quick. So right here, we're going to get the chat.users. And we want to remove any users in the removed users ar array that we're going to pass in here. So we're going to remove removed users. And since removed users is going to be objects, we're going to have to map through that and just get that user.name. So we're going to get you dot name. So this gets an array of names of the removed users. And this is the array of names in the chat. So we're going to remove these from here. So that's what the difference gets. And we get that those new users and then we return object dot assign. And then that chat, then we're going to give it the new users. Now you could also do this in a different way. So we don't have to do object.assign. We could also just give it 
we also can just make a new array or a new object like this. So we take this out and we dot 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 that chat <laughs> and we then give it users and new chats. So this will overwrite the users that are in this chat and also make a new object, which is pretty freaking cool. All right, so then we're gonna say this.set states and set the chats as the new chats. Right, so I'm going to, just for um, consistency sake, change this back to object that assign. But either way it works. All right, so now we need to go ahead and add the event listener for our socket right up here in our init socket. So socket.on. And we're going to listen for that new chat user event that we made. So right up here in our long list of events. I'm going to say new chat user and import that. Now in our init socket, we're going to use that new chat user. And now whenever we get a new chat user, that's going to pass something for us. Actually, we're just going to call the add chat users, add chat to user, or the user add to chat. So this dot add user to chat. Yes. <laughs> okay. And then we're also going to go ahead and do a socket dot off so that we don't call that on accident when we are not in this component or we can't see this component. So this uh, new chat user, just like that. Now we're going to update our user disconnected event function right up here. And all we're going to do is we're going to get the removed users by using another method from Lodash called difference by, and this just does the same exact thing as difference, except it uses a key value that we want to get. So we go up here and we import that. And then right here, we're going to say this dot state dot users, which gets all the users currently in the chat. And then it says values and then users. So what values does, if you don't remember, is it just makes all the objects in here actual values. It gets all the values from the object. So, and then we're going to Get a difference by the ID of those users. And then we're going to call our dist.remove users from chat and pass in removed users. Awesome. So now, next thing we got to do is update our socket manager, and we are all good. So let's go ahead and go to our socket manager. And right down here in our private message, we're going to update this on for our else. So this else means that we're not creating a new chat, but we are um, adding someone to a chat, or we want to make a private message uh, for someone in the chat. We want to add someone to the, the chat that we're currently active in. So we're going to say if not receiver in active chat.users. And we're going to go put that in parentheses, just like that. So if the user is not already in the chat that we are trying to admit to, we're going to do some crazy functional programming. And we're going to say active chat.users. And we're going to filter through that. And we're going to filter to make sure that they are inside of connected user so user in connected users once we filter through that let's go ahead and make this do this we're going to go ahead and map through that so we got all the users in our user connected object we're going to map through that and get those values so we could use values here but I'm 
I'm just gonna keep on mapping so we don't have to use values. And then we're gonna say user. So we get all the values from that. Then we map one more time. And for each one of those users, we're gonna say sockets.2, user.sockets ID. And then we're going to emit to that. So we're gonna emit, Let's make this a little bigger. We're going to emit, um, and that's gonna be a new chat user. And we're going to send it the chat ID. I'm just just gonna be active chat.id. And also, the new user, which is just going to be the receiver. All right, so we admit to the receiver, all the receivers or all the um, people in the chat currently that we have a new user for the chat. And then we're also gonna admit to this user, the one that is on this socket that we have that new chat user. All right, so that's it, really. So now whenever we add a third or a second person to a chat, we go ahead and loop through the chat users and say that we have a new chat user and we add that guy to the user's chat in the front end in our chat container in our add chat users. And whenever a user disconnects, we go ahead and remove that user from all the chats and put it in there. So let's go ahead to the application. Uh, it looks like we got a problem. Chat container line 60. Uh, I'm already there. Chats.map. Oh, what's that? Chats is not defined. Oh. I actually want to get the chats from the state and not the chat. All right, cool. Let's go back. All right, so there's one more thing we need to do in here, and that's I go ahead and import our new chat users. So we go and go up here and we import new chat user from our events. And then make sure everything is saved. And then we go back to the application. And then I'm going to log in as Leon and imaginary friend. Friend. And then Lola as well. And Lola's going to talk to Leon and then get in that chat and say, I want to talk to imaginary friend as well. And it'll say Leon and imaginary friend. And if we go to imaginary friend, it'll say Leon and Lola and Leon imaginary friend. All right, guys. So that is it. Um, if you really liked or enjoyed anything about this, if you got something from it, definitely let me know down in the comments by hitting the like button or just saying something in the comments like, nice job or something that all helps me i really appreciate all the help, the support that i'm getting from from you guys next up in the next video i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to deploy this to heroku so you can have it live on the internet if you have any questions go ahead and tweet me on twitter or just uh put it down in the comments if you like the video go ahead and hit the like button and if you really liked it go ahead and subscribe to the next line of code